begin our program, I'd like to introduce you to the Commissioner of the New York City Department of Sanitation, Catherine Garcia. Thank you. I am, I am thrilled to be here uh, to be able to announce how successful eCycle has been. But first, I just want to thank the Manhattan Borough President, Gail Brewer, Councilmember Rosie Mendez, John Sarrigan, CEO of Electronics Recyclers International, which is our partner in this project, and Dan Wurzel, who's president of First Services Residential. We really can't do this unless we're working as a team. So the eCycle program is among the most innovative and comprehensive electronics recycling programs in the nation. Groundbreaking in-building recycling program for large apartment buildings. When you live in a city that's vertical, you need to think differently than you do if you live in a city that is primarily single family homes. We are excited to announce that as of this month, one million people in the city of New York are served by eCycle. More than 2,500 buildings are enrolled, and we are adding about 100 buildings a week to the program. Although electronics make up only about 1% of New York City's waste, they contain potentially toxic materials, including lead and mercury, as well as valuable metals like gold, copper, and cadmium. As it's been described before, uh, this can be urban mining at its best. Since the program start in November 2013, ERI has collected 863,000 pounds of electronics through the eCycle program. East Midtown Plaza has been a member since January of 2014 and on its own has diverted nearly 10,500 pounds of electronics to date. Depending on the size of the building, we offer a variety of service options which you can see behind me several of those options, including different size storage bins, room cleanout, and building events. In some cases, the building will receive a secure e-waste bin, residents place unwanted electronics in the bin, windfall, building management calls the SNY for removal, and we arrange for collection and an empty bin is left in its place. Door-to-door -door service. The program is a public-private partnership between DSNY and ERI, fully funded by electronic manufacturers, and is free to taxpayers and participating buildings. Uh, we also offer electronic drop-off opportunities at 10 safe disposal events per year, two in each borough, and New Yorkers can drop off electronics at 95 participating retailers, such as Staples, Best Buy, Goodwill, Salvation Army, or attend events hosted by the Lower East Side Ecology Center. We are trying to create a wraparound program and meet the mandate of the state legislation that forbids us to collect at the curb and allow that waste to end up in a landfill. So I am extraordinarily excited that we have reached the one million resident mark. Uh, we will keep pushing for more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner. Our next speaker, representing one of our partners in this uh, very unique uh, arrangement is John Chigarian, CEO of Electronics Recyclers International. John? Thanks so much, and it's really nice to be here back in my hometown. You know, I just want to say I'm honored and humbled about having this little get together today and uh, sharing uh, the stage here with all these people. I'm going to thank everyone before I give any comments, um, I grew up in Little Neck, Queens. When I was growing up in Little Neck, uh, as a five-year-old boy, my favorite day would be Wednesday because Wednesday would be the day that DSNY came down my street and picked up our trash. And I told my mom when I was five, I said, Mom, I'm going to grow up and be a New York City trash man. And now that I'm 52 years old, I can say, Mom, I am a New York City trash man. Happy to be here. And uh, I think I want, I want one of those jackets though, uh, comm Commissioner. I wanna thank all of our partners. This is, we have over 200 cities under contract, ERI does. And I have to tell you, this is the most innovative and inspirational partnership that we have in the United States right now. Why? First of all, the political will. 
the political will to put this partnership together and then make it a success. I want to thank, first off, Mayor de Blasio, who, when we discussed what we already had started in the previous administration with him, someone, a friend of mine said to him, what do you want to do with this, with this program that we've already launched? And he said these two words, do more, do more. And, and uh, I feel really proud that when we launched this program at North Shore Towers 18 months ago, that we've done more. And I'll explain to you in a little while. Commissioner Garcia, who just made her comments, Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer and District 2 Council Member Rosie Mendez, without the political will that all of you have shown, they, we'd never be here today at all. It does, things like this don't happen. So thank you. The manufacturers, we've got two major manufacturers. Many are supporting this program, but today represented, we have Samsung here today, Mark Knox and Dinery. Thank you very much for supporting this program. Without both of you and without Samsung, there would be no New York City program. So thank, thanks to Samsung and the other great manufacturers, and thank you, Mark and Dinah, for coming today. The Real Estate Board of New York, without the great landlords, this would never be happening. The landlords were part of the key stakeholder group when we put this partnership together. Dan Wurzel, who's standing behind me, who's gonna talk, Dan represents the best of these landlords. He has about 148 buildings that he manages. He has already 100 enrolled in this program. So Dan, thank you so much. Without your support, we wouldn't be here today. Thank you very much. And of course, 32BJ, Lenore Friedlander, AKA the Green Janitors of New York. Lenore, where's Lenore? Is she here? Lenore, thank you so much. These are the people that are making this program happen every day. Special thanks to Jessica Shriver. Jessica, where's Jessica? Jessica Shriver from the Department of Sanitation. She brilliantly manages this program for the city of New York with my, with my staff from ERI, Katie Riley. You don't have my glasses on, so Katie, where's Katie? Katie in the back. Katie was there in the first meeting with the city of New York when they put out a bid on this. And she said, I think we can make this happen. And there was 40 other vendors there that day, of course. But Katie being the ever optimist, Katie helped create this program with my partners, Kevin Dillon and my wife, Tammy Shigarian. They created this bin, these bins here. These have never been created before. These were created especially for the city of New York. They're proprietary to our partnership. And these bins help make this partnership what it is today because as the commissioner said, making this work, some of the challenges of convenience and being in a vertical city, well, you know, it goes back to old Blue Eyes himself. If you can make it here, if you can recycle it here in New York, you can recycle it anywhere. And we've proven that here, as Commissioner Garcia said. Dave Herschler, where's Dave? I know you're wet today. Dave, Dave, Her and where's Johnny Vasquez? Johnny, is he here? Johnny. Dave Herschler and Johnny Vasquez from ERI. These are my two shining stars that manage this program every day from the ERI side with Jessica. And thank you for making this work. They're the ones on the ground with the union workers from 32BJ that do the hard work every day that allow us to be here. So, going back to what the commissioner said, you know, when I started ERI 10 years ago, April of 05, we recycled 10,000 pounds of electronic waste in April of 05. April of 2015, we recycled 25 million pounds of electronic waste. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. Well, similarly, in the city of New York, when we launched this program in Queens 18 months ago, nobody knew where we'd go with this. No, nothing like this had ever been created before. We didn't know if 100 buildings would sign up, 500 buildings, or how fast it would grow. Well, 18 months later, we've got 2,500 buildings and a million people already served in the city of New York. But here's some other stats that you need to know. In the first six months of this year, we've already recycled 
double what we recycled last year in the city of New York. And 100 buildings a week are now currently enrolling. 100 a week. So that means when we're here next year, we're going to have over 7,000 buildings and probably two to four million people in New York serviced by this great program. All the electronics that are recycled in this program go to our New Jersey facility, then they transfer it up to our Boston facility where they're shred by the largest electronic waste shredding systems in the world that are very sophisticated. That means two things. When we recycle our electronics here in the city of New York, everything is protected in terms of the environment, everything's done responsibly, and all the data is destroyed. That's real important. In a world that on the cover of every newspaper every week, we have another cybersecurity issue or something like that with the federal government or a big corporation, the data destruction element with this in combination with the environment create a powerful reason why this program has been so successful. As, as also to why we're standing here today. Why here in the East Midtown Plaza? Well, this is why the program is so unique. This Midtown Plaza, which is a Mitchell Lama complex, has approximately 740 affordable homes here. Over 2,000 New Yorkers are served here. And when you look at the stats in the city of New York, about 55% of New Yorkers don't have a car. So typically when we do a collection event or something somewhere else in the country, in one of the other 200 cities that we serve, people can drive to that collection event. Not so here in New York. So by having these bins behind me, here, right here at the East Midtown Plaza, the people who live here can drop off their stuff in these bins and they don't have to drive anywhere and they don't have to store it in their apartment because there's no basements here, people don't have cars. This is why the program works and that's why we're here today. So in closing, I want to say thank you to the City of New Yorkers for supporting this program. Thank you to everyone behind me that I mentioned before and everyone in front of me from DSNY, the politicians, ERI, who made this program successful. What we've proven here is that together, working together, we can make both New York City and the world a more sustainable and better place. Thank you very much today. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it.